Hi, this is going to be my lipstick collection video. Okay, um, I've got quite a lot of lipstick, so let's get started. First off, I have this model's preferred one. It's this kind of shade. It is called Picture Perfect. And you just slide this little button thing up. And there comes the lipstick. I will not be trying these on, but I will be swatching them. It's a coral colour. It smells like watermelons. Watermelon. And this is just in all random orders, it does not go in colours. So then I had this lipstick from Avon, and it's in Cooper Penny. That's the colour. And it's slightly muted, muted coral. So, yeah, this is more like a true, I don't know, I don't know how to describe colours. Then I have this one from LOL, and this one is in... Think pink. I'm gonna stop showing the backs of them. So yeah. Um it's a kind of a Barbie pink. This is only two dollars, so it smells kind of thick, but it's not because you just say in the swatch. Okay. Then this one's by Revlon. And this is great. And it's a very dark colour, but it actually does not come off that dark on the lips. Like it comes off actually quite sheer. So obviously I did not wear this one a lot, but I like the packaging. Okay. And then I've got this Rimmel lipstick in 170 Alarm, and it's my favourite bright, I don't know, kind of shimmery but don't have the flakes, like kind of satiny, I don't know, um, red lipstick. It looks more, uh looks like a neon red it looks like a true red in the camera it's not that red then I have this one by model Pro. it's called spring fling I love the packaging and it's kind of like Kylie Jenner's spider blend it's coming off a tad dark And turn dark in the camera, but yeah, it's pretty nude. It's a pretty nude. And then I've got this lipstick, um, in number 70 Juicy Apricot by what is this? Uh, Maybelline? What does it say? Oh, yeah, Maybelline. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. This is probably my favourite lipstick. It's my lips are better. So it's pretty much a shade of my lips like when I put it on. So, yeah, and it's really like, it's like her name says, a juicy. It's that one. See? Um, yeah. Nice. So it has like a glossy a little feel and mind my hair my blue is fading so just try and not focus on that yeah try and hide it um what's the last thing? and I have no makeup so yeah not at all not even chaps just no makeup today not even lotion couldn't be bothered so 
Um, then I have this lipstick by Face of Australia. It's in Urban Spice. And it's a Marnie's colour. Brown lipstick. This is kind of shimmery. It can come off as a red tone. But I swear it's not. Oh, we can't eat that one. It smells like the old A1 lipsticks, the traditional lipstick, like old lady lipsticks and I love this. It's my most, like, it's my favourite um, smelling lipstick. And then going on to my second, this is my one and only MAC lipstick. And it's in Up oh, the Ant, and it's amplified lipstick. And I had done a review of this. Or a current obsession. Look through my videos. It's like one of the first ones. I don't know. Like the seventh or something. And it's nice and purpley pink. Pinky purple. I don't know. And one that is super similar is this one by. um I don't have the, the thing, it's, I think it's Color Workshop, yeah, Color Workshop, and as you can see, it's very similar, just this one's more pink, I'll do it side by side so you can see a difference. Now on the um, lips, it comes off more purple, but it's more pink than that one, eh, aqua. Okay. Then I have... Woo, lid came off. This nutty o lipstick and oh it's a pure lip cream, whatever. In hot. That's what it looks like, the packaging. Very sleek. Ew, it's very dirty. But um like a plummy purpley colour. So let's start swatching them like this. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty comparable to the face with the real one. And then I have this one by the Color Workshop and my little three year old cousin, well, at the time three year old, it's about like what, five now, is at school. Um, he smushed all the lipstick into the lid, so half of it is in a lid, but the other half, this is extremely old, like not even half, but that's the whole lipstick, like right there. Hey. Oh, that's really cracked and disgusting, but I still like it. It's like a Nicki Minaj pink, like a baby Nicki Minaj pink. I think it's time to get rid of this one, but yeah, it's really um, in face. Okay. Then I have Barry N Lips um, in the color. Carnation. It's very similar to the model's prefer one. Even smells similar, but the model's prefer one smells a bit better. This one kind of smells like the traditional lipstick plus apples. It kind of smells disgusting, but it's pretty. And yeah, it's more. It's more like a true like brat's pink like the tweedles kind of I don't know. um if you ever watch brats um that's it sorry the swatch is so massive look my hand yeah hey um and the cool thing about this is if you don't like lipstick you can actually use it with your fingers or a brush for more precision and it's actually like put it there Pretty good. Okay, two last ones. 
I have two of these um, Revlon lip butters. Um, I start off with this one. This one is in uh, 27 Juicy Papaya. I like the word juicy, don't I? Look, all these lipstick brands. I love the lip butters because they're like super sheer. Like almost just like a balm. I think it's got some health benefits thing. I love these. Yeah, it's pretty good. And my last one is this one in Proactive. And it looks like purple and then it goes to a true true purple. Like it's more frosted on top and I don't know why. But it comes off as just like a glitter with a hint of purple. Like when I first saw like when I first saw this I was like, yeah, purple. Me and my cousin have this. And then all our parents and stuff and our grandma was like ew purple looks sick but it's actually just shiny see it's only like a metallic one I actually love this probably can't even say this is good for putting underneath like lip balm then this then Let's say face of a shirt layer. Perfect. Because then it has a shine, but you're not adding this on top. So, yeah, that is my lipstick collection. Hope you guys in. Sorry, thought I forgot one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some sort of way. And um, all my social media links are always linked down below, always. Um, and if you have any video requests, link them down below. You can follow me on Instagram at personalways123. Or... You can follow me on uh, or you can follow me on Twitter at that guy in the corner um, and stuff like that all down below so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and